Here we are in the Monster Energy Cup pits, and I found none other than seven-time AMA champion Jeff Ward, who uh, this week released a press release. Jeff Ward Racing. Uh, Wardy, you're back. You're going racing. Yeah, it's something I've always wanted to do for a long time. I mean, I've, I've never stopped racing myself, so mm -hmm. it's always been tough to try to juggle all that with the family and doing all that stuff. But, yeah, um, Mike Kranjak with L&M Racing, uh, I got together with him, and uh, we were trying to – Kind of trying to do the same thing separately mm -hmm. at some yeah, point, you yeah, know. Yeah. So it's like, hey, let, you know, we got together and one day went up and met with them. It's like, you know, he's, this is what I want to do. This is what he wants to do. So we put it together um, and renaming it Jeff Ward Racing. I think it, uh, that'll help out with the industry and yeah. with what I've accomplished in racing. And um, so, yeah, we're moving forward. A lot of things got to happen. It's the same original, the same team in place that they had that won their championships with Reed and Stewart. So the, uh, the structure and everything that's going to be put in place is top notch. Yeah. So for me, that was just like, you know, a game saver, yeah, yeah. really. And uh, to, I didn't, it's enough to piece together everything we got to piece mm -hmm. together besides having to do all the other stuff. So I'm real excited. Are you going to be uh, active at the races, going to every race? Are you going to be a silent owner? Uh, do, you, do you know exactly how that's going to shake down? Um, no, I'm not going to be silent. Um, that's hard to do. Uh, <laughs> I, I've been involved. I don't want to be the day-by-day -day operations. Right. I don't want to do, you know, the logistics of traveling, you know, but I love working with riders. Mm -hmm. I love knowing where we need to be. I love being at the track, knowing, right. watching the track, watching the riders, knowing the competition. I've done it my whole career, so I think I can give a, a lot to the team in that aspect of it. Um, and then also dealing with sponsorship and, um, you know, they're also buying my name as well as part of the team, and so mm -hmm. I'll be doing stuff for all that. So there's a lot of stuff, but, um, yeah, I'll be, to answer your question, yeah, I'll be going to a lot more right. races. Right. Um, and uh, that's something I've always wanted to do. And I worked with Troy Lee for a while and did some stuff, but more with just the riders and, and a little bit like that. But this is something that I wanted to do more than just uh, work with a couple riders. So it's, it's coming out good. Yeah, it's real exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Uh, any, anything you can tell us right now, bikes, riders, uh, anything uh, set in stone or anything we can break on the show? <laughs> Well, I mean, everybody knows the riders that are available out there. I mean, you got uh, Josh Grant and uh, Ben Townley's, you know, Lissy's here. You know, there's guys, now that's been announced, there's more guys that you kind of didn't know. The phone's been ringing? Yeah, that you didn't know really that thought they had deals that don't have deals. So, um, you know, we're not making any uh, quick decisions. I really like Josh Grant. Um, I think he's a top guy. That, I mean, injuries are a part of all racing, but I think that can be minimized in some, some way of a little bit of planning a little bit more and doing stuff a little more strategically. And... Um, but brand-wise, you know, I mean, you know, I'm a Kawasaki guy. That would be a great fit, you know. I mean, but Suzuki, you know, Suzuki's got a great bike. Um, you know, we're just talking right now with a few people and see what works best. But I think for for myself, Kawasaki would be the best fit. Um, yeah, I agree. And maybe you can get Machine back as a rider coach or something. Uh, hey, Chicken, Chicken's already Chicken's already texted me. Uh, about he's been out of milestone practicing and to put that million dollar uh, contract on the table, he'll sign it tomorrow. So. We're getting the band back together. Uh, real quickly, uh, this race itself, the Monster Energy Cup, a hybrid outdoor supercross race, trying some new things. Uh, thoughts on that? Um, it's always cool to have something like this, you know, to stir it up a little different. Um, track looks unique. You know, I know it's always the end of the year and it's tough for riders to get motivated again to come out, but a million dollars usually does that to people. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I think it's it, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, Monsters put a you know ton of effort in the in the Supercross series, and I think it's you know good to have this at the end of the year to get the spectators back out and get them all going again for January. But um, you know to get to win that million dollars to win all three motos is right. is uh, a tough thing to do. Yeah, definitely. All right, here we are, Monster Energy Cup pits. Uh, Jeff Ward, some getting a scoop on his team.